Hey guys, it's Deb with Deb's Cool Finds. I'm out of breath because I just lugged these three packages in I'm about to show you. So <laughs> I made an expensive, for me, expensive Timu purchase, but it was the best price I saw anywhere. And they did four payments on it. So yeah, but the hard part was I was so excited it all came today until I tried to move it into my house. So <laughs> this is 49 kilograms. Let's see, Alexa, how many pounds is 49.5 kilograms? 49.5 kilograms is about 109 pounds. Okay, so this box alone weighs 109 pounds. Yeah, and I had to bring it from way out there. That's as far as I could get. <laughs> So then at least I can get out of the house because I don't want to start putting it together. Well, I want to start putting it together immediately, but it's already seven o'clock at night and I haven't had dinner yet. So tomorrow I get off work early and then I have the weekend. Today's Thursday when I started filming this. I'll film it in subsequent videos and then just kind of smush them all together for you if I decide to post this or if I'm made a fool of by Timu. We'll see. Anyway, it feels heavy, so it does feel like wood. But what it is, is you can kind of see it. There's a little sneak preview, but it is my new king size bed frame because I kept telling you that my bed is super high and it's cherry wood and I just want this white wood um, bed frame. And so it has like the headboard has shelves and different things on it. And so, yeah, it's going to take some putting together, but it came in. Sorry, my camera just said stop and it just stopped. So I was in the middle of saying it came in two pieces. It did come rather quickly. It's a local delivery, um, that part of Timu, which I was kind of nervous about. But yeah, it came quickly, um, maybe just a few days. So here's one piece. And what I did was like, <laughs> I tried to put it on my car, but that didn't work. And so I kind of like put it on there a little. And then I just kept, I was back here and I just kept nudging it with my my legs together, like kind of pushing it using my body weight inch by inch by inch until I got it in here. My neighbors should have been filming. Uh, anyway, and then I kind of had it on there for a little bit and I pulled it until it fell off of it. So not much help. Um, and this is part two. And this one, yeah, look, needs two people to lift. No kidding. Needs like eight people. Um, this one, where's the kilograms on this one? This one is 17, no, 19. Five kilograms or 19.5 pounds something I don't know anyway not as heavy but still ugh. and then I ordered from Walmart and they gave me 12 payments for I think it was $12 in interest so that no biggie but it's a dresser a white one um, that I'm hoping to switch out the table that I have in my uh, in my room that's holding like the the cable box and stuff and then I'll have drawers and all that so hopefully they'll kind of go nicely together I did order some drawer pulls from Timu in a beautiful blue well I hope they're beautiful blue we'll see when they come and I might switch out whatever handles are on here but anyway here's another one and this one was a oh this one was killer too here we go yeah another hundred pounds about you know whatever a little over a hundred pounds oh my goodness gracious okay <laughs> So I had fun. So I'm going to have a, uh, a little uh, putting together party here. So luckily, I love assembling things. You see my house is messy, but I love assembling things. So uh, this should keep me happy for, for a bit, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was looking at that. like That looked like one of those mud wasp things, but it's only been sitting out there. I think I got the notice this morning that the stuff was arriving, and I was so excited to get home until I tried to move it. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to let you go for now. I'm going to go make my dinner, chill out for tonight. It's, a, like I said, a Thursday night I'm filming this. And then go to work tomorrow. And um, maybe, depending on how I feel when I get home, uh, start to at least pull this apart and see what's in there and, and how I'm going to do this. And, of course, I have to take apart my bed before I make the whole bed because how do you move a giant bed into your room? Yeah, there's a bed already in there. Lifting that king-size mattress is going to be fun. And yeah, the whole thing's going to be fun. I'm going to be sore, but I'm going to do it. Luckily, uh, unluckily, I don't have any... What he really needs is a man around here to help me, but I just can't catch one of them guys. And uh, my son, like I said, lives in Kentucky, so he can't help me. 
thought, I will do this. We can do it, right? Girl power. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, see you on the next clip, hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I made some progress on the bed last night. I only took apart a little bit, but it was the hard, hardest part, I think, because these pieces are so heavy. So heavy. Ignore that. That's all stuff I need to donate. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, those were the heaviest pieces because they were flipped over. So they were on top of the bed, making it a four post. Oh, so it was like eight giant screws and then pulling these out because they attached by that little plug right there on the top. So let me show you. I'm going to make you sick by twirling you. But just doing that, if I'd have known... <laughs> Just doing that makes my room seem uh, bigger, just uh, more open and bigger, just by taking the posts that were on all four corners off. So yeah, they just went on there. There's just a hole on there. So you had to pull it off, but I had to be standing on the bed with no support and try and lift those things up and then get them off the bed without destroying anything. So yeah, I put in some effort last night. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it was a lot. So, hopefully today, now I do, I did, oh, that's the Connors playing in the background, sorry, let me close the door, see if that helps the sound a little, okay, there you go, uh, and there, oh, well, while we go, there's a Timu review, there's my, my bracelet holder, so yeah, I'll put a snippet out, but it works lovely, uh, anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of all this brown furniture, but yay, so happy to start, start moving on this. But stop distracting yourself. Okay, so today I want to get myself out of the house a little. And that was before I thought that the all the furniture was going to be here. So I thought, well, to take my mind off of the fact that I'm waiting so excitedly for my furniture, I pre-purchased some tickets to a movie. I'm going to go see Daredevil and Wolverine. I just love the two of those guys. Uh, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds, right? I think. Um, and then I got it. I have like a free three free tickets still at um, my movie theater. So um, I purchased it and then I had to pay a little extra because I have these seats that are supposed to like move with the movement in the movie. I don't know, never done it. So I'm excited. So that's at one, one or one thirty today. I have a timer set on my phone. Um, but between you know, before and after the movie, I'm going to be taking this apart. So I think what I have to do is well of course undress it and then take the mattress and prop it up probably over here because that's oy vey, oy vey. uh so prop it up because it's so heavy i'm just gonna have to push it off and then kind of wet move it somehow it's it's super heavy um and then underneath there's two box springs so those aren't as bad uh, and then all of these, I believe right down there, right there is a screw. So I think I'm going to have to take them all off and they come off with, um, my wrench. So have my handy dandy wrench. These are the screws. Look at these monsters. Those are the screws. Luckily, there's not a whole lot of thread on them, but still they go way in there and they're these kind. Okay, so, and I'm keeping it all together because I'd love to sell this bed. I mean, this is solid, solid wood. This is disgustingly heavy. It is beautifully, you can see over here a little more in the sunshine, beautifully carved. I love this bed. It just doesn't fit with my current aesthetics and mainly the current size of my room. My bedroom in my old house was double this it was huge I had a sitting area and everything so it fit perfectly it was beautiful in there it had a matching armoire I previously sold it's got the matching um, nightstands so between the nightstands and the bed I'm thinking asking 400 I don't know is that unrealistic I don't know but it is solid solid wood and not that difficult to put together, not that difficult to move as you see the piece, you know, it's just pieces. Biggest pieces, of course, going to be the headboard because you can see how tall that is. Um, but it's just going to be one piece and then the side pieces, this piece, so four to make the bed. And then it just has pieces of wood. I'll show you as I'm going. But anyway, that's my my progress so far. So yeah, and I'm going to get rid of this. I'm either going to try and sell my jewelry case. I never use it. Uh, sell it or donate it dresser it's just a cheap flimsy little dresser but if I still need it I'm thinking of painting it white to match what I'm putting in here I'm going to take these side 
uh, tables from my guest bedroom that you've seen in there and put those in here and flop, flip these out to that room until I can sell it or whatever. My vanity matches, so that's okay. This table that's where the new dresser, I believe, is going, but we'll see. We'll see how it all fits in here. Um, I might leave that and put the dresser over there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <sighs> all right, guys. Got to get started with my day. <laughs> Bye. Okay. <sighs> Progress, but how embarrassing. I didn't even know all that stuff is under that bed. <laughs> gotta go man that tv old i don't know what to do with it that's a tv stand really pretty glass one i tried to sell didn't go anywhere um that is a doggy you tell him out of breath for moving these mattresses um dog ramp that my aunt gave me to help with bella but it was too little for how high my bed was um that i use for packing material and my ebay stuff this is stuff for sale. That's an old robot a vacuum cleaner that I forgot was under there. Uh, dusty as heck. Yeah. Nasty. Nasty. I shouldn't be showing anybody, but you know me. I just show it like it is. Anyway, so this part will be not that bad to store. These parts will be... That thing's going to be a pain in the butt. I, I have no extra room in my home, so this has got to go, but uh, I'll worry about that later. Anyway, so there's my... One box spring, my giant mattress, giant mattress, that was the hardest part, and then my other box spring. So, let's get this apart. Well, progress has been made. You can see the bed's totally apart. And you're asking yourself, why is that laying on the ground? Interestingly enough, <laughs> ow, oh well, interesting enough, that's part of the reason. So I was vacuuming, that was standing up there. I was vacuuming, somehow the cord got pulled, that thing fell and hit me right here. Ow. <laughs> it doesn't look like much, but man, it hit hard. And that is the heaviest wood ever. That is solid wood. You can see how thick it is. And it just fell down on my ankle. So I've been icing it for the last 20 minutes. Sore to touch, but a little sore to walk, but uh, nothing's broken or anything. Just... Ah, first injury. First injury done. Yay. I can continue now. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to pick this up. <laughs> and then we're going to start looking at the directions, which are like 25 pages, uh, to put the bed together. So, onward and upward. But, uh, yeah. Ow. Okay, guys. See you later. Well, I was going to film more of the construction of my bed but I got so into it <laughs> that I just kind of pushed through. I did take a break and I went and saw the Daredevil movie Daredevil and Wolverine hysterical, raunchy but funny so I did enjoy it and I loved the seats that moved with the movie it was, it was quite entertaining uh, but anyway then I came back and I finished up my bed uh, I want to say about 9 o'clock last night <laughs> so so here it is and um yeah i don't tuck my sheets in as you can see i don't like tucked in sheets so i just let it hang down uh gotta fix that corner but anyway here we go so the room's not finished yet i still have to do the dresser uh which i'm gonna start now it is sunday morning i got to sleep in my new bed it was so relaxing and it was like i mean just the frame right the mattress is old not old but yeah anyway <laughs> excuse me um but yeah still a bit of disorganization because i don't know where to put that and oh my gosh i don't know where to put that massive thing i i gotta try and sell it or i don't know do consignment stores like pick up items and then sell them for you and you get a portion of it i don't know how that all works but like i've got this to sell which is my bed i've got those two um down there i've got those first two Bar stools that I want to sell. Yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. So, <sighs> anybody have any ideas on that? Let me know. I mean, I, I hate to just donate it, and I will if I have to, but I'm sure there's some money in there, and you know, money's tight, and I'd like to get some money for it, but I just don't know how to do it with how I'm never home and everything. Anyway, you want to see the bed? Okay, I got one nightstand in here so far, and then I just called it quits. But there we go. So there's my nightstand from my guest room. I think it's gorgeous. And now I've got these shelves. So there's one, two, three shelves that way. 
right behind the pillows there's a drawer that opens and then there's more you can kind of see it there if I get my finger out of the thing um, there's second drawers underneath there behind the pillows so all my stuff I need is right within reach it's got a plug on the top so that's pretty cool it has um, a couple actual electrical plugs and then it's got that USB and then I think it has another one that's like um, USB-C or whatever that one's called a smaller one so yes yeah, so I gotta put more doodads and stuff up there and decorate it a little more but I am loving it I love just having my phone right there um, so I guess I could turn the light on and make it a little better for you hold on all right my fan's still on I just got up I'm just having a lazy morning you can see it's eight o'clock uh, but hello looking like crap so don't don't zoom into that uh, anyway <laughs> anywho yeah I just need to put some more dude on. I could see my TV clear now because the big post isn't going up there from my old my four post bed you know um, just yeah I am loving it to me this side if you get rid of the dresser right there cheerful happy the whites yes this side I still got to move that um, uh, nice stand out of there bring in the other white one that side's like darker and gloomier no I like the white I'm just determined I just love it I love it worth all the work not not super hard um, I did it by myself and that was it was easy there was nothing like I was struggling with like oh I wish I had somebody else uh, kind of thing most of the cabinet I just sat at my dining room table or my kitchen table I'm sorry and um put the pieces together on there so I could sit because sitting on the floor just hurts I'm so sore today <laughs> and then I had uh, the injury of that big giant headboard falling on my foot and then um, of course I had to kick the wood part a couple times with my toes thinking why am I not wearing something on my feet but I, I didn't put anything on my feet I was just dumb um, I'm thinking of switching that mirror out to I don't know if I can find another mirror or Maybe just a picture up there, like an ocean picture or something might be cool. Uh, but yeah, there we go. And like I said, not bad. Um, it is like pressed wood, particle wood. But I mean, it's it's a nicer one, but it's not like solid wood like uh, my tables are. But it's still very sturdy, very nice. A lot of structure underneath as far as holding it. Oh, and then there's two drawers you can see them yeah under there those are drawer drawers and they are giant so let me pull one out Ugh. sorry you're hearing my fan noise so yeah they're just on um you know they're not super sturdy amazing drawers but they're drawers they'll hold clothing and all that kind of stuff um, but yeah they're on wheels and they don't attach to the bed at all they're supposed to so there's this is my one complaint there is right there is a screw right and then on the bed there's a hole on the frame and that screw is supposed to go in that hole and hook in there and keep it flushed to the bed until you need it but when you do that they don't line the drawers up right and then the wood overlaps the other drawers and stuff so I, I couldn't figure it out and I was tired and it was nine o'clock at night and so I just said the heck with it and I just put the drawers in there so they do line up like this I can make them work so see what I mean so you just pull it a little over and poof there it is so there you go but yeah that's that's my only complaint otherwise it went together really nicely I had extra screws and stuff which is always nice um, they give you extra it wasn't because I didn't use them um, and then oh and the other thing that I gotta read the directions, but I can't believe I'm doing anything wrong. Underneath that front part, to the back of it, there's a light strip. Um, it's this weird, like, flexible kind of light strip, and it's supposed to have all these colors and everything, and it's got a remote, but that's not lighting. I know electric is working because, as you see, my glowy little fold cord is working. Um, and they did put holes, like, if you can see under there above the clock, they did put holes there for you to bring any kind of wires through and make it look nice in case you needed whatever items up there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, loving it. Love it, love, love. All right, on to the dresser. Yikes. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys, I am so exhausted. I could, I could not move for years. My body is killing me, but I'm done. Well, I'm not done. 
I'm done putting everything together and kind of arranging my room, but I'll show you where I still have a mess. All right, so this is a jewelry box that I will be attempting to sell because I don't use it. If jewelry's hidden, I never use it. So right now it's a fan stand. <laughs> But I would like to get a standing fan in here because I, I need a fan to sleep at night. Um, there's my little storage chest. So I still have more storage in there. And I also sit there and put my shoes on. We've got the nightstands from my guest room are now in my bedroom. And those drawers are, are pretty good, full, whatever. Um, I put a little more things up on my bed, but I'll still continue rearranging all that. You know, as far as those shelves go. I got the other, oh, I'm so tired, the other nightstand in here, rearranged this little area a bit. I'll show you my mess, I'll be honest with you, I always tell you that, so, <laughs> um, some of that's trash, some of it's I want to see if it still works, the vacuum and then that clock, I love that clock, but I can't get it to work, so it might be donated for somebody else to try and figure out, uh, trash. That is stuff that I have for sale on eBay, but now I think it will fit in the drawers underneath my bed and I can reorganize it. That's an extra TV uh, that I just happen to have. My mirror. Here's my dresser I just completed. That was a lot easier than the bed, but my hands, they're so sore from the twisting of the screwdriver. And I did use my, my drill on a couple little screws, just did it real gently. And then I cannot see my TV because I don't have a big four poster bed in here anymore. So yeah, there's that. Uh, I added more to my donation pile in there. There's a, a table and oh, just a bunch of, of crap. All right, now I'll I will be I will be brave and show you. Um, yes, I did all this in a weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Right now, five o'clock or so. I did it all, but. Um, <laughs> Let's go look at my guest room. Hold on. Okay, I changed around my dining room a little. Yes, I still have Bella's bed. <laughs> and I still have Bella's food dish waiting for my next best buddy. Um, I took that runner off of the table. I wanna buy another one. Uh, but I had this table in my room. That's where my dresser is now. This used to be there just holding the um, cable box and all that. Now I have a dresser there, so I was like, oh, what do I do with this table? It doesn't come apart, so it's so hard to store for me. I mean, I live in a little townhouse, so there's no such thing as storage. Uh, but then I thought, let me put it in here, and so just kind of decorated that up. This is a bunch of recycling I have to get rid of, but the recycling here hasn't been picking up, so I'm waiting for it to get back in gear, and then I'll slowly start taking that stuff out to recycling. But here's what I want to show you. We are all human, and we can't do everything at once. And sometimes we just create a mess, and yes, I did. So here's my living room. Um, yeah, that's part of my bed. That was the footboard. Oh, this is ungodly heavy. I mean, this is solid wood. Solid wood. Heavy as a... But it's beautifully carved. So I think whoever... Hopefully, it needs to be clean. But whoever, hopefully will buy this or whatever um, will love it as much as I once did and uh, appreciate it for that quality of that wood I mean yeah it's amazing here's all of the styrofoam that was in all of the boxes that came with my dresser and my bed and I like to save that and use it in my little shipping hobby thing uh, but yeah I gotta find some place for it <laughs> here's the trash load so yeah I can't put boxes like that in my trash I have to break it all down for either recycle or try and get in into the dumpster, which is a ways away, so I'd have to get it out of here. Well, I have to break it down, carry it up the stairs to my car, drive my car to the dumpster, and then put it, you know, reach over and put it in the dumpster, and I just have no energy. Uh, those are two bags of garbage that were created from all of the stuffing and stuff inside those boxes and cleaning my room and other things. Uh, I can't put garbage out until 5 o'clock the day before garbage, which is until Tuesday. Huh. Um, there's more boxes I've crushed and I'm waiting to take to the dumpster. God, I wish my son lived closer for stuff like this or I had a good son-in-law. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so there's that. There's the shop bag they left here when I flooded and nobody's come to take it. So I, I have no room for it. It's crazy. Um, 
and then there's some trash there so yeah but that's not the biggest disaster here's what used to be my guest room ah i know i can't even look in there it's just giving me like makes me hyperventilate so here's the headboard and again look at this wood it's oh my god it's so solid that is the heaviest heaviest thing and um that's the thing that fell and hurt the back of my foot so we have that that little i mean it doesn't look as bad it's bruised though it's got a big old bruise on there when i don't do not bruise easily but then i also kicked that accidentally and yeah look at that too i'm sorry but yuck yeah that's incredibly painful so anyway more boards from the bed this is a oh forget the nastiness on the top of that yeah i know i need to dust more uh but anyway this is the sorry it just sorry it just stopped videotaping for a minute okay videotaping show my age filming uh, anyway yeah that is a really cruddy uh, particle board dresser that i had in my bedroom but now i have way more storage in the new dresser so eventually <laughs> i want to put it in that closet those are all clothes for sale um that are going to that I have on eBay and Poshmark, boxes for shipping. That's my Christmas tree. I mean, that it's crowded, but I'd like to put that dresser somehow in there. That needs to be donated, but I don't know when they start taking Christmas trees. I put the matching nightstands in here until I get rid of this set. Somebody takes it, they can take those out of here. I, I can't even, wow. Uh, most of this was in the, um, in the nightstands sorry Bella you're buried there uh, in the nightstands and so I got to find more room for it or on the nightstands because I didn't finish that side um, and then I have some items in here like that and that for sale um, I tipped over Bella's crate and put it there I don't want to break it down so it's there in the corner and then more <laughs> that's the top of the four poster bed those are the things that were oh my god incredibly hard again to move but my little dolly came in. It's not that great of a dolly, but it did come in handy for a couple things. But yeah, this is my mess. Those are some Timu bags I need to film, which I was going to do this weekend, but I'm sorry. I'm exhausted. Those are some baseball cards my mom found that she had saved since my son was like a three. I mean, we're talking over 30 years. Um, those, and they've never been opened, so who knows. But I got to get them to him, and then there's more in that box. But yeah, this is a mess. This is... Yeah, I can't look at it in here without being like, Ugh. but then I just got to tell myself, you know what? You're an old broad and uh, you've done a lot of work this weekend and be proud of that. And don't concentrate on this. You will need to recover a bit <laughs> and then maybe wait if I can. I don't know if I can hold out till next weekend to do this room, but um, I might just want to because, you know, I get don't come till after seven on weekdays. So it's kind of hard for me and I'm tired from that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you the human part. Don't don't be hard on yourselves. We all do this, you know. It's like you clean out one room and then you've created a mess in another. But the the biggest thing will be is if I can get somehow this bed um, out of here for sale or something. So because there's no way I can I I can't get this out of my home. I, me personally, there's there's absolutely no way. It is ungodly heavy. So um, yeah, and I don't have any big burly men around to help me out so um yeah so that's that these are all books i've read that i i need to donate or give to somebody but anyway yeah there's that so yeah i'm just gonna concentrate on the good and uh not think about the bad but i love 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 love, love my bedroom and um you know i'm just these are this is true i got these at a garage sale and i love these there's I, I gotta frame it uh, there's so many things i have to do right i uh, remember i told you i bought these from timo and they had the little rhinestone um ribbon on the bag it looks like a ribbon and it just fell off in the wash and i gotta sew it on that's been a while but it's not i'll wait till the fall <laughs> but that i gotta get framed um but i like these better because they're a little less obtrusive than these with the back on them and everything even though i love them and they're swivel and everything and these i tried to sell on facebook marketplace at one point and I just kept getting scammed things. So I got to find a way. If y'all have done this, please help me out. Uh, or know like if consignment stores will come and get the stuff and you get some of the money. I don't know how it all works. So if anybody has that knowledge, please let me know. Um, this is a little fridge that I love having in my bedroom because uh, my nighttime eye drops need to be refrigerated and it was nice to have it in there. 
And then if I forgot to take my medicine, get into bed, get all comfy, I'm like, oh, I forgot my medicine. I just have to reach over to my nightstand and get it instead of come all the way to the fridge. I know, first world problems. But it stopped working, so it's going in the trashola. But I just have to concentrate on the good. And that's everything here except by the sliding glass doors. So I am in love with this. I don't know if I'm going to keep that mirror in at, um, but yeah, I am in love with this room um that's my crowded corner but that's my jewelry corner so i don't know i'll just leave it um but yeah this is i love that dresser i'm just i'm just in love with it all um a couple of the things in here i have for sale like that mirrored thing but it's so beautiful that i just want to keep it on display and then the like wooden candlesticks are on my in my ebay shop but i might as well display it while i still have it you know things like that so uh, make use of whatever you have uh, but anyway yeah and then I put that little picture up there which I'm gonna find something else maybe but I'm trying to hide where the plug is where that red cord is coming out of up there kind of disguise that a little but yeah I'm in love so uh ah I'm excited I'm so excited to lay in that bed tonight and be done <laughs> Uh, I'm still going to move those boards. And yeah, there's still stuff to do, but I concentrate on the good, right? I tell you that all the time. But in this case, yeah, um, definitely got to move this. This is bothering me. You shouldn't be up there anymore. Let's put you down here. Oh, how pretty. Okay, cool. Better? Yeah, it was bothering me. Got to have the even number stuff or odd number, actually. You're supposed to always display in odd numbers. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for sharing this time with me. Sorry I couldn't film more of my actual doing the work, but you didn't want to see me all sweaty and <laughs> crippled and <laughs> doing all the work. But both of these items were definitely doable by myself. Um, I do believe the bed was worth it. Uh, it. The bed was from Timu, and I do believe it was definitely worth it. There's a ton of storage underneath with those four drawers under the bed, all in the headboard. Um definitely worth it and then the dresser I got from um, Walmart on sale and uh, I put it together and now that uh, was definitely worth it too and also easy to put together as one person so perfect I did most of it I assembled all the drawers on my kitchen table so I could sit at a normal height and uh, put all the the panels together and then when I needed to assemble it I came in here to assemble it so that it'd be right there and I didn't have to carry the whole thing down the hall or anything I didn't all I had to do was push it into place once I removed the table because that was storing all my you know my gadgets all right guys I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go lay down put the fan on me have a cold drink I wish I had like a cold drink drink uh, now's the time I need my margarita. <laughs> Where's my margarita and my, my freshly made <laughs> uh, pico de gallo and some chips? That would be lovely, but I don't have that. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching my videos. Thanks for subscribing, hitting that like button. Remember, like, I mean, I have injured myself for you. No, I injured myself for myself. Uh, that toe really hurts. And I didn't know, I didn't know the destruction of that toe. I know it hurt like, <laughs> Uh, anytime you stub your toe though, right? But I really hit it hard, I guess, because it's all bloody. But I just instantly went, I'm like, stop being stupid. Put on your big fluffy slippers. Not fluffy, but the um, padded ones. You know, my Christmas padded ones from Timu. I put those on and then didn't pay any attention. I knew it hurt every time I tried to move and it was hitting the top of the shoe. And, and then when I got all done um, with the dresser and everything, and then I took the the uh, slipper off I was like oh that's why that hurts because you're bleeding uh so yeah I, I sprained it pretty darn doggone bad but um but yeah that's uh that's that here's my I just saw it again here's my most relaxed place my favorite place in the world and we will end on that that is me in Greece that is my second favorite place in Greece it is Santorini I mean uh Mykonos over here I'll leave you with that. That is my favorite place on earth. That is Santorini. And I forget what side I was on, but that is from my hotel room. I would eat in that restaurant a couple times and then I would just chill on that beach. And I loved it. Yes, definitely good vibes. So I hope you uh, have a favorite place in the world that you think of and that makes you feel wonderful. Hopefully it's someplace close. Mine not to be far. Um, but <laughs> But anyway, love you guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.